Murdered by Words, where we look at the best insults, comebacks, roasts on the internet, put them all together and we see people get murdered, not literally, rhetorically. Is it rhetorically? Something like that. It's funny. Enjoy. <laughs> Todd Kramer, dot E-T-H, says, I been hacked. All my apes gone. This just sold. Please help me. Hey, did they take anything of value, though? <laughs> it's like, wait a sec. Is he using someone else's ape as his profile picture? Because if he got stolen off him, he doesn't own that anymore. So please change your profile picture. <laughs> I'll keep observing Columbus Day. Thanks. Wait, what do you do to observe Columbus Day? Get lost in a grocery store looking for spices? Huh? Like... <laughs> Like, what is Columbus Day? What, what does that mean? <laughs> like, seriously, as a non-American, I have no idea what Columbus Day is. Like, what do you celebrate? <laughs> when your name is painted. Painted? Change your Twitter name, it's offensive. Uh, that's literally my name. Okay, perhaps consider legally changing your name. Your name is hurtful. Uh, no thanks. It means lover in my own language. So, consider shutting the frick up. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like a robot, like, da -da, da -da, da -da, da. but, you know, that's how you get it. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson says, Santa doesn't know zoology. Zoology? Does he mean zoology? I don't know. Both male and female reindeer grow antlers, but all male reindeer lose their antlers in the late fall, well before Christmas. So Santa's reindeer, which all sport antlers, are therefore all female, which means Rudolph has been misgendered. Oh! Yet yeah, there is a time to be a scientist and a time to be a regular person. Christmas is a time to be a regular person, Neil. We all know you are smart, okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I get what he was doing, but it's like, I don't care. <laughs> I think the fact that Rudolph has a literal bright red nose that manages to guide the way you know, we're not looking at, like, actual biology here. I don't think, you know, you can compare. <laughs> People make an awful fuss about running really short distances. 10Ks are an absolute piece of piss. Almost literally a walk in the park. I've done a couple without any preparation, and I'm not an exercise type. They certainly don't merit medals, tears, self-congratulation, etc. Yeah, I hear people even get Olympic medals these days for running as little as a hundred meters. The world's gone mad. <laughs> it's it's true, like a hundred meters to me. I can walk that every day, like just in my house. But they don't give me a med- like Usain Bolt, why is he rich, huh? <laughs> Student, I don't understand why my grade was so low. How did I do on my research paper? Teacher, Actually, you didn't turn in a research paper. You turned in a random assemblage of sentences. In fact, the sentences you apparently kidnapped in the dead of the night and forced into this violent and arbitrary plan of yours clearly seemed to be placed on the pages against their will. Reading your paper was like watching unfamiliar, uncomfortable people interacting at a cocktail party that no one wanted to attend in the first place. You didn't submit a research paper, you submitted a hostage situation. Oh. Oh, can you imagine, like, submitting your paper and being like, yeah, you know what, I tried really hard on this, you know, and you get that reply, you're like, man, I'm not, I'm not cut out for this. <laughs> I hate game tunes. It's so bad. Like, how do people watch this crap? And then game tunes replies, we put more love and effort into our cartoons than your parents did making you. Oh, <laughs> Oh, is that a real thing? Because it has 23 retweets and 320,000 likes. So, hopefully they said that, because that's good. <laughs> two-sentence comedy, and I assume someone put something. I really like the two-sentence horror ones. Like, sorry to go off on a ramp, but, like, the two-sentence horrors, and it's just really bad. I need, yeah, those are good. I'll show you them. <laughs> there is a thing known as comedy. Please quit trying to drag it behind the woodshed and give it the old yellow treatment. All right, allow me to ask you a few questions. Are you haunted by the things you've lost? Have you spent countless nights shuffling through your memories like a deck of cards, hoping to find something to make you realize everything will be okay? Days that are gone are gone, and the laughter that once was shared amongst others is forever lost with the infinite halls of thought. There was no reason for you to tell me this. I know it was a stupid joke, and it certainly wasn't funny, but your abundant lack of imagination, not in the traditional sense, and your lack of ability to restrain yourself from pointing out the obvious is what makes me wonder, is there such a thing as thinking too much before you speak? There is at least something I'm sure of, however, 
you must be fun at parties. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but I need to see the actual joke, because if the joke isn't funny, then, you know, you know, I kind of agree with the first person, and then this guy is probably just reaffirming that he's not that funny. But if it was funny, then, you know, what is the joke? <laughs> Here's a good example of the two-sentence horror. The vaccination was fine, and I had absolutely no reaction. The next day, I saw the tentacles. Whoa! Spooky, right? <laughs> and then we got another one. It was late at night, and there was a shirt in the corner that scared me. The closer I got to the shirt, I realized it wasn't a shirt. Oh, what? <laughs> Let me guess, where all the good guys at? Ah, uh, so he's 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 upset because, you know, she only likes, you know, yeah, she doesn't like him. Look, dude, I'm 17 just like you. You really need to cut this arrogance and awful, unfunny sarcasm out. I was like you when I was 12 and got bullied mercilessly. I am also going to lay out some facts for you that I can bet are probably true right now for you. You have no actual friends. Oh no. Anyone you believe to be your friend is either using you or bullying you and calling it banter. You seriously have some growing up to do and I wish you luck. But currently, your worldview is almost entirely based on the copious amounts of... Oh, okay. Alright, uh... Oh, <laughs> no long-term studies. They are still in trials, lol. Both can catch COVID also. Don't see how this is a comeback. Over 99% survival rate. The flu is more dangerous, but keep sucking up to that fear-mongering and cloth mask security theater there in your plastic Reddit bubble. For a Reddit mod, your views are expected, and I'm not in the slightest surprised. And then the mod replied, I had to manually approve this comment, and the only reason I did is so I could publicly tell you that you're a dummy. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> the flag that Louis Mountbatten proposed in 1947 as the Indian flag. So it's just the Indian flag with the- yeah, okay. <laughs> I won't lie, I don't hate it. Oh, uh, which country do you live in? Uh, the United States. All right, here are a couple of places in the US where you can get your eyes checked. <laughs> and then they flanked, wow, wow, look, quite a lot. <laughs> Good, but you dragged it out too long. The joke lost its impact after the first 90-ish seconds. I watched a bit longer, waiting for a change in tone that would surprise me, but gave up and didn't finish the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, your comment also works as a review of your comment. <laughs> It was a bit long-winded, all right? You probably could have, you know, cut it down to a few words. <laughs> Everyone eulogizing Madden. How many concussions could we have prevented had he not turned brain injuries into a video game? Hmm? I, I can't imagine there will ever be a more perfect use for this meme. We got a... <laughs> Pass. Clown post. There it is. There it is. <laughs> and as someone who knows absolutely nothing about American football, it's still, you can still kind of understand, it's a clown, you know, yeah, <laughs> cricket, okay, I, I don't have context, but cricket is very highly rated, so, uh, there's a bunch of English gadgies in Australia at the moment who are also struggling, uh, to quote what Tom Holland said about England's recent performance, Good grief. <laughs> well, at least England beat the Wuhan market with the worst use of a bat to date. Oh, that comment made Ozzy Osbourne sad. <laughs> Elon Musk says, For those wondering, I will pay over $11 billion in taxes this year. That's, that's, that's a lot of taxes, right? <laughs> and then Anya says, That's 4.5% of your net worth. You paid 3.27% between 2014 and 2018, and no Fed taxes at all in 2018. You made $36 billion in one day in 2021. Most US people pay 10 to 37% in federal taxes and up to 13.3% in state taxes. Stop vying for sympathy from people who pay and pay your fair share. I'm not going to comment on that one, but you know, net worth, net income, you know, net revenue, like, tell me in the comments, argue it, I don't know. <laughs> wow, you made it to the end of the video. Uh, if you haven't already, you know, if you're still commenting, then good, but subscribe. Because there's more videos coming every day. I, I do them every day. So thank you and like. <laughs>